Okay, we call the meeting order. Um, the minutes, you guys want to approve them with the corrections that Judy made? Yes. Yeah. So we'll, go ahead, Kim, Judy. I think we looked the time up online and it's actually 3.30 deadline now. But, I would, but I'll fix both those things. Um, okay. I think I should not make a motion to approve the minutes. I, I wrote. will make a motion. Someone else should do that. I will do that. Make a motion to approve the minutes with the corrections as noted. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Okay. We did receive one submittal, mm. application submittal from the recreation department for a larger size ice skating rink plus the kitty rink by the looks of the description. Yep. Um, John, you just want to fill us in a little bit? You gave a really good description. Yeah, and I apologize that it was late, but life is just, I, I pretty much exist um, underwater these days. So um, soon it will be frozen. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, which could be problematic. Um, but the, the, the ice skating rink that we put up last, you know, January, because it's not cold enough in December, um, was a huge hit. And just in conversations with people who used it and our own observations, um, we see an opportunity to expand it even more and a need to expand it even more. Uh, we also just by you, you learn as you go, um, we are, if, if we keep using polypropylene or whatever it's called um, as liner every year, you're gonna be, we're gonna be replacing liner every single year and that gets expensive. So. The point of this is to expand it with corners. Um, the corners will add to the safety of the of the of the rink, uh, and it will also add to the dimensions of the rink. Uh, Fifty by seventy is a pretty good size. You know, it's almost the size of a tennis court. Um, so, pretty good size rink. Um, and the demand that we saw last year certainly um, makes that a, a worthwhile initiative uh, and, or investment just because there were, it was a pretty crowded rank last year. Um, so we are putting some some maintenance pieces into that as well and also some some guard buffers uh, so that if you do fall on the, on the side, you're not hitting two by four. Uh, you're, you're hitting something padded. Um, and then on top of that, uh, for a very reasonable amount, we, we're adding a kitty rink um, just, you know, older, older kids and three-year-olds learning to skate are just not a good combination at all. Um, and, and we want to make sure that it's a, a facility that can be used by all ages um, and that it shouldn't be segmented. So the kitty rink is a, is a great investment. And then finally, um, people were using it at night um, to add to the safety value and also just to make it more, more inviting for people. We're putting up some lights that will be uh, LED, so be environmentally friendly and cost effective for ongoing ops. How many, how many, buying a, go a, ahead, sorry. No, you go first, John. You're not buying a new rink. You're just expanding the one you have? We bought a new rink last year. Okay, that, that's the one you're going to expand to? That's the one we're expanding. Okay. And we knew okay. we were buying a smaller one, but we wanted to see what the use was going to be before we, you know, really went whole hog. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're, we're expanding now. Okay. Do you have any idea how many people used it? Um, if you're asking for a quantifiable number, no. If you're asking for a qualitative number, really a lot. Uh -huh. um, there's just no way to know exactly how many because it's not like we have key cards uh, et cetera right. to track that. Um, but qualitatively driving by that thing, there were all... Every time I drove by, it was, you know, two to five people were in there, you know, more after school, obviously, um, sometimes more. Um, on weekends, it was it was very well used. So, I, I, you know, I don't, but there's just no way to quantify that with any specificity. I believe it was used quite often last year. The year before, not so much, but last year was used a lot. The year before was a warmer winter. We got going really late in the year. Um, and it, you know, we, we knew enough to know that it probably would be used if we could get our act together early enough. Um, and that was proven correct this past year. 
Wow. Um, and, and yeah, and, and COVID helped because people were looking for something to do outside. Um, getting, putting in a permanent liner instead of the disposable or destructible polypropylene liners is also good because they just go to the ocean. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, it's just junk that right. we're adding to. So I'm glad you're doing that. Right. Um, I, I'm just curious, it has nothing to do with the proposal. What would happen if somebody fell and hurt themselves? The, the town. I mean, I suppose it's a stupid question because what happens on the ball field? Right. <laughs> you know, I just, I answer. just, I'm really just, I've never thought about this before. We we have town coverage for all facilities. It's the same coverage that if you walk into town offices and a you trip from a banana peel. Yeah. Okay. It's the same coverage. Okay. I I'm curious about the lights, John. Um, LED is great, and I assume down, will, will they shine off the site at all? Um, they're, not, far, they're not intended how, to. Um, how are you going to control that, I guess? What's that? How are you going to control it, and how are they turned on and off? Um, Wayne has that information. We'll be doing, we'll be, we'll be manipulating things from the, from the fire station. Um, I believe with the purchase of the lights comes a a, uh, a light sensitive timer, um, and my guess is that you will 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 use the backstop from the current uh, either a backstop from the current ball field and shine it in that direction, or Wayne was also talking about just having a couple metal poles that we would put in the ground with a wire going across, and we would shine down from those poles. Um, that that's in, incidental stuff that, you know, we just haven't gotten to yet in terms of a final decision, but it is stuff that, that we've, we've talked about. Yeah. I mean, Dan, we talked about a, a time limit on, on the length of the evening. I mean, oh, I, I'm assuming it's done by, by nine. Yeah. So it would have to be on a timer because if it's just light sensitive, they'll be on all night. Yeah. And, yeah. and, we, and we can figure that stuff out. Um, yeah. The electricity will come from the fire station and, and you can put that on a timer easy enough, just like any of us would if we were to go away and we wanted the lights on when, you know, at, at night when we were away. I guess the only private houses that are potentially affected are Zanuski and Boussier, right? Um, and, and I'm not exactly, I mean, I mean potentially because I'm not exactly sure, you know, how that would I can't, there aren't really pri other private houses there, right? Zawinski wouldn't be just because- Zawinski, the sorry, I missed Yeah, that's all right. Um, Joe and Sheila aren't because the fire station's already in between there, so it's quite- Yeah, a they still see the lights, I think, John, but- Yeah. Uh, Perhaps, but again, it's, again, there, it's not intended to flood the entire footprint. It's just in, intended to flood a 50 by 70 area. So the lights have to be close enough to the facility, to the, to the rink without obviously someone hitting their head you know it, it's got to it, and, it, and it's also if it comes from the from the fence it's going to be going towards the solar field and going away from right. the road and 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 joe's house um so I, I the light will be visible but the light wouldn't be intrusive just because of the direction of the light and again it'll be done by nine because we all know and 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 i would suggest the timer go on go off around that anyway because the sidewalks roll up in Waitley at 8.30, 9 o'clock. <laughs> the new sidewalks. The new, exactly. The old, the old ones never rolled up. You're ruling out romantic interludes on the ice rink. Uh, yes, right. It's not a golf I, green. Now I'm it? really worried about liability. <laughs> no. <laughs> Turn the headlights on on the car and point it at the rink. Right, right. Maybe we'll have the lights go on for, 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 for a minute at like midnight every night just to make sure. Just <laughs> the neighbors would there. not like that. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> not in my backyard, as we say. Right. <laughs> um, is this really enough money? The the prices are right out of Easy Rinks. Um, Whatever Easy Rink is, yes. <laughs> the company that manufactures the I'm rink sure. or just yeah. the first one from. So Wayne just went to the rink and and priced out the things we need and done. 
and and you know I'll trust Wayne. And right. there's no, the town will surprise supply the labor. I assume. Last Please. year we put it up ourselves. It takes about an hour to put up the rink. It's not a. It's 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 a it's a. It this is, sounds a little more complicated. Yeah, it's it's really not complicated. It's 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 a turnkey kind of thing. You um, mean the recreation committee put it up? Them you put it up yourselves. It was Justin and Wayne. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So it was it was very easy, um, but you know I've gotten I've gotten um, offers to help from from people like like Steve Fifield or or. Um, uh, 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 Gates, um, Jeremy, Jeremy, uh, you know, so that's not an issue at all. If, if we put posts in the ground for the lighting, that's something that, 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 that Wayne and the, and the, and the fire station guys can, can volunteer. So it's, it's a really easy thing and posts are pretty easy to, to hammer into the ground, assuming it's done before the ground freezes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think things are pretty much thought through and fortunately it's an easy one. I mean, the, ins the installation on an annual basis is, is pretty easy because when I was looking at them originally, a few were eliminated from contention because um, they weren't easy to put up and, and take down every year. I and mean, this thing, this thing is stored very, you know, it, it folds up into, you know, like an accordion kind of thing on the most, so. So oh, it's in the well. fire station. Is that where it's kept? It's actually kept in the um, in the same place that our fence for the softball field is kept in the what what would you call it the the um, the carport that's behind the fire station where they keep one of the mm -hmm. one of the trucks. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, it's heavy enough where people can't just walk up and pick it up. Any other questions for John? Nope. I got a suggestion. Since his application is late and understanding that Lynn was at a town election all day yesterday, so she couldn't have received the application had it been on time, I think we should make a vote that we accept the late application mm -hmm. just so we're not setting a precedent. Mm -hmm. um, so, so moved. I'm happy to move that. Okay. Yeah. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, you can't vote, Jonathan. I can't. Nope. Because he's the applicant? Well, yeah. because I'm the late vote. entry. You're the what? I'm the late entry. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, uh, Bill Brown. I think he can vote on the project on, on accepting the lateness when he was the yeah. applicant. Well, I, I was going to well, well, say, we have all voted on projects we've put forward. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I, I, I just, yeah. Just this is a precedent, you know. I think. Right, I agree. Okay. okay. I worry about the quorum issue if I don't vote, but okay. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> then you can vote. Yeah, because even even with Catherine on leave, we still need four for a quorum if there are six, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I would have I thought about that, Judy, and I would have abstained had it not been if if. No, Anthony that's that's fine. Voted. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So shall we wait until we know when special town meeting is to have a public hearing? Should we wait to vote on this project? Which I don't see why we should wait on, but we can have another meeting. I'd be happy. Well, we have to have a public hearing. We do have to have a public hearing. I mean, I would say schedule the public hearing in July and let's just do it. <laughs> I, if the, not myself. <laughs> if the public, if the town meeting is until October or November, I think September might be a better time because more people will be around. You mean do delay for the public the pu hearing? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I think that um, I think that I will again. The special is is, is driven by when free cash becomes available. Um, and I just don't want the ground to freeze because mm. we got to buy this thing. Well, it's up to you guys when the town meeting is a special town meeting. Well, but, but you might have to have two, because again, it's, 
the, the, the special town meetings in the fall are, are subject to, to timing of things that have to happen to make the town operate, right. like free cash, like, you know, short-term borrowing and things like that. So, I, I mean, I, I can control it to some extent, but I can't, I, I can't move. Well, we up. can't, we can't, the timing of our public hearing doesn't affect when the right. town meeting is. Right. No, I understand that. Um, if, if you get close, then if it doesn't look like it's going to be till November, you could ask for a special town meeting just to approve this. Yeah, because I mean, no one shows up at town meetings regardless. So what what's the lead time for the stuff you have to order? Like it's OK. Oh, OK. Yeah, they, it's, it's already made. They just they just okay. put it on a truck. So. All right, I'll I'll deal with Brian on on the timing of the special just so I can get a sense. But maybe we should, you know, to Judy's point or Donna's, I forget who, um, schedule it for for you know right after Labor Day, the the the, the public hearing. Yeah, the second Wednesday in September. That would give you time to put. Will we have another scoop? Did we just have a scoop? <laughs> I can't remember. We had one in May. Um, Maybe it, maybe if Joyce has another one, you could put a little write up about the plans. June, July, August. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah probably. I mean, it's quarter. Is that? It's, yeah. it's quarterly. Yeah. It should be August. So okay. okay, I'll put a tickler in in in, in Joyce's email on that. Um, again, I'm 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 such a pessimist on on people who would on how many people attend these things. So I. But. Yeah, so we can vote tonight on improving this project to bring it to public hearing. We need to do that to bring it to the public hearing. Mm -hmm. I make a motion that we approve the 5520 for a new kitty rink and expanding the adult rink. Second, all in favor, aye. 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 Okay, okay, thank you, you guys. <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> Very interesting. And thanks. This, year, this year, I'm going to find that thing. What? <laughs> this year, I'm going to find it. There you go. <laughs> all right. You guys all set? Anything else, anybody? Nope. We don't nope. need to do anything for a town meeting, do we? I don't think, no. <laughs> no. Just be Everybody there. knows about those projects. There's the two projects. Yeah, no, no, I don't think so okay. at all. Nope. And that's going to be inside the school, or outside the school. Um, outside. Yeah, outside. It's outside. the same setup as last year, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, Alan. How scary! Alan didn't go. Trouble. If he'd known it was only going to be forty-five minutes long, he probably would have. Probably would have gone. <laughs> you missed the eagle. The eagle was the best part. Uh, I heard about that. <laughs> Way cool. There's one yeah. out in the field two weeks ago, just out in the middle of a plowed field. I don't know if he's eating a mouse or what he was doing, but it was a really cool picture. I, I had one on the burn pile that still exists in my side yard. Yeah. Uh, and, and I'm sure it was just sitting there waiting because I'm sure there are a ton of animals living. Critters. Yeah. yeah. And, and and it's sad because they're either going to be found by the eagle when they when they go get some <laughs> or, or, or the fire is going to be a problem for them. <laughs> Tough decision. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> be glad you're not a wait till after babies are mature yeah yeah no right. it, hannah wouldn't let us burn right now anyway so uh, right so, right okay all right well, okay. thank you everybody we'll talk to you, uh, talk to you in september <laughs>